Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Love is still in the air. Is it? Let me catch it. Weekend. Yes. Pray to us, pray to us, pray to us. <laughs> Last week we talked about and celebrated black love, but today we want to share our personal experiences and challenges with finding black love. Oh. <laughs> I am not going to talk the most in this. I'm letting everybody know right now, so don't even expect it. But you can't, you can't help if you have something to say, though, Miss Quaddy. Why? Girl, girl, black experiences and what's, what's the problem with black love? <laughs> Challenges. Well, f first of all, I don't have any challenges with black love. Well, I have to be honest, and I'm not sure who's going to like this and who isn't, but I, I honestly don't care. This is my first experience in black love. Yes, I know. Uh, you know, I've been married twice, and they were both non-black men, and this yeah. is my first foray into black like? love. Let me tell you something. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> yes, black love. I'm enjoying myself immensely. Yes, and I. this is nothing bad to say about interracial relationships. Like, like I said, I've, I've been in them. Of course. But it's something to do with, I'm, culturalistically, mm. it's different. Mm. You know, like, my, my first two husbands, they didn't identify with getting beaten. You know oh, what I mean? Like spankings yeah. and stuff. Beaten, spankings, right. yeah. uh, switches, brooms, you know, they know. <laughs> mm -hmm. You understand what I'm with, saying? With, with Vaughn. Yeah, with Vaughn. I mean, they knew what, back then it wasn't abuse. It yeah. was like your parents chastised you back in back in the day. I'm old, y'all, but you know. I mean, collard greens and cornbread. You know what I mean? mean? It's like with some hot sauce or maybe vinegar. With some too. hot sauce on the side. Right, or in it, or the vinegar. Or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm mean, cultural, culturally. It's different. Yes. And he's um, more of a protector. Mm -hmm. He's. Um, <laughs> He's a huge communicator. Uh -huh. He's just, I feel real safe she around him. I'm real excited. Am I touching myself? I mean, you <laughs> are. You just, <laughs> just, <laughs> he just this, he that. Right. Yes. I mean, and the way he's really close to his parents, and then he understands the, the value of family like I do. And everything, which is, yeah. I'm well, having a grand really time. So there's no challenges there. The challenge was there were some Sorry. challenges. Well, possibly I, being in a biracial relationship, but you are now, you know, on the side with your culture, and people yes. understand each other better. But what is the challenges that <laughs> you Don't go moving me head. over, Quad. No, no, don't no. go moving me over. <laughs> hey, Vaughn. I just don't want us to get so far off no, the No, no, no. I totally get it. All. We're talking about challenges here. And, and I'm excited for you. Thank I'm going to let you finish. I'm happy I'm for you. I'm, I'm done. But let me, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm <laughs> but I will say this. I was going to remain mum about it. But I, I think that for me, and let me just say this. I love my black men out there. Like, there are still so many black men who are ready to love and ready Ooh. to be faithful, ready to uh, shower women and queens like we deserve to be showered. Amen. And let me say this next thing. My parents have been married for for 36 years, mm -hmm. 36 years, and I love my parents, oh my gosh. But the problem, the challenge is that my dad was such, has been such a fantastic role model for yep. me, yep. showing me what a man should be, All that right. now when I look at generation millennials, which is what I uh, identify with, uh, <laughs> Um, now when I look at people who are my age, I don't know that they got the same foundation. Mm -hmm. I'll say that. Exactly. And with that being said, we live in a savage culture so much right now. And I think that what I, and I'd coin that phrase in that women are like, I can do bad about my stuff. I'm good. Say no. Or men can say, you know what? Blank over, you know, um, mm -hmm. money, money, money over, over blank. Me. I'm good. Money. Mm -hmm. And we, we live in a, I can do bad by myself culture. And it's so sad because it's like on Valentine's day, there were so many less Instagram posts. You know what I mean? So many people were, weren't saying much out there they weren't talking about love but then the next day or the day before they got so much to say like you know I bought it I do my thing by myself <laughs> it's, it's just um I think the biggest challenge for me is just a man having enough um self-awareness that it's okay to to show that tender side and love a woman. Mm -hmm. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to let your guard down and show that I am being submissive to my woman and she's being submissive to me. It's Amen. okay. It's a, it's yes, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, I, I echo those sentiments um, about you because I have an amazing father too. Mm -hmm. So the foundation was just like set. So I knew what I was going to tolerate and what I wasn't. And I literally, they say you marry your dad. I, they are a day apart. They're both educators. They're both wow. football coaches. And I'm like, oh God. But <laughs> it's 17 years later, the foundation was set. Yes. I did not, I did not um, waver from what I wanted. And I have a very solid marriage. Yep. And I believe in black love. That's why I posted not to be braggadocious, Amen. but to give exactly. women, especially oh. so many women who yes. are my age, just, just to, to be able to know that you can have Amen. that. And it's out there. And there are some amazing black Thank men out that. there. They are. Yes. Because I feel like we get a bad rap. Y'all don't support us. But we a lot of times it's reciprocated. We don't feel like you support exactly. us either. But we're saying on national television, we love you. Love we that. know you're out there. You. And a what you are. Girl. A girl. A what what it Girl. Oh, where they at? Where they at? Where they at, girl? He had a great dad. You know what I mean? He's from a two-parent home. He had a great dad. Right. So 
He's a great dad. And I had a great dad, too. And, and yes. we all know you had an amazing father. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know... Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Take no prisoners. I just feel like if we're talking challenges, we're going to talk challenges. That, but that's the topic. The challenges are there is no value for women. Women are so easily to be uh, just at a man's disposal. Mm. You know, um, you know. Okay, you, you're not you're, gonna, you're not going to do what I want you to do. Then I'll get five more just like you. There's no value there. There's no respect there. Um, there, men don't know how to empower women. They don't know how to uplift and inspire women. They don't know how to celebrate her. They're almost, in a sense, feeling as if they're in competition with the woman. Mm. Okay, I'm talking about the challenges. The, the topic said challenges. Now I'm talking about the challenges. So this is what I have in just viewing and my observation and even even in personal experience. It's it's not a competition. You know, if we're together, then if I shine, you shine, we shine. And yes. I think that concept has been lost. And a lot of times when you're trying to pour into a man and uplift him and, and teach him, he's thinking you're trying to tell him what to do. Mm. We're, I, I'm not your mother. I'm not trying to mother you. But how However, we're together, I want to see the best in you. And I don't think that men have truly, truly wrapped their minds around seeing the best in their women. And that's the challenge. Or in themselves. We'd like to hear your thoughts. Mm. Wasn't going to talk much, but, but you said a good thing. It was just right. I wasn't going to say it much. It was just right. Yeah, you did your thing. Yeah, yeah, Everybody already heart. knows how I feel. That's <laughs> right. Your heart, uh, your heart. <laughs> looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> Black love. We want to hear your thoughts at Sister Circle TV. What Send them that? to us. I don't know. What you know. I, I know. It was Eddie Murphy. Remember that? Saturday Night Live.